In this video, I am going to show you exactly how to wire in a relay to safely power added on lights like these. The reason why we don't like to run wires from our lights down behind the dash to a switch and then to the fuse box is because typically these switches that are made to go in your dash or on your dash are not rated for enough amperage that our lights are drawn. Some are, are as low as two amps on some of these. And we've seen switches like this actually melt because people are putting way too many amps through them than what they're rated as carrying. And if they can melt, they can also catch on fire. Now to virtually eliminate the possibility of our vehicle going up in flames, we always like to use a relay underneath the hood that's rated far greater than any amperage that any of our accessories are gonna draw. Think of a relay as a switch that gets turned on by your switch on your dash. Now those two circuits, the one going from your battery supply to your lights and the circuit coming from your switch on the dash never touch each other in these. That way you can have uh, the power coming from your switch on the dash being as low as two amps, three amps maybe, and the other circuit going out to your accessory can be well whatever the relay is rated at. Uh, this one is a 40 amp. Not to confuse you, and I hope it doesn't, but relays come in a variety of configurations. Some, like this one here, when, when power is supplied from a dash switch, it turns on a circuit. Others, when the power is supplied from the dash switch to it, it'll cut off a circuit. And then there's other ones where if you provide power to it from a dash switch, it'll switch from one accessory to another accessory. So make sure you get the right relay. All you do is connect to these terminals using a simple uh, I don't know what you call these things. Simple, simple connector like this. It just slides on there. You can also get these where they're insulated. This is how we wire them up. Now next to each terminal is a number. The wires coming from the lights or air compressor, whatever you're uh, wiring in, the black wire gets grounded to the body someplace wherever it's convenient. And the red wire from those lights, air compressor, goes to the number 87 terminal. The power going to your lights gets connected to the battery usually with a big ring terminal like this. And then that goes through an inline fuse. You always have to have a fuse. How the hell you open this? Anyways, there's a fuse in there. And then that goes to the number 30 terminal on your relay. Now the power to trip or to turn on this relay starts at your fuse box behind your dash where we tie into that with one of these. These are often called add a circuit or add a fuse. You simply take, uh, you find a position in your fuse box that you want to tie into either uh, where the power is on all the time or when the power only comes on when your key is turned on. The choice is yours. But you take that fuse out of that position, plug this in, put that fuse you took out in this position, and then this other fuse is going to be the fuse for your wire running out to the relay. There's all sorts of different types of switches that you could use. Um, these are really nice. This one here is actually for the FJ Cruiser, but they also make these that plug into a, a spare or a blank on your dash where there's no switch but there's a place for a switch. Just pop out that blank and one of these switches will go right into that position. Really nice, looks factory. Then after you have the switch tied into your fuse box, on the other side of that switch you can run a wire down and through your firewall. Usually there's a big grommet right by your emergency brake pedal underneath the dash, kind of up in there on the very far driver's side. Poke a hole in that rubber grommet, run your wire through there to underneath the hood. And then that wire gets attached to the number 86 terminal on your relay. And lastly, run a wire from your number 85 terminal on your relay to a ground on the body. 
If this is your first time watching one of our videos and you'd like to see more, hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to ring the bell if you want to be notified.